Yeah, these two portable classrooms you see behind me are nothing new at Hazeldale Elementary School in Noblesville. For some concerned parents, that's part of the problem. Just such a long email thread. Let me find them. These three parents have found themselves in the middle of a convoluted process to get two 21-year-old classroom trailers inspected to their satisfaction. Their kids attend all of their classes inside these trailers at Hazeldale. Therein lies the heart of their efforts. Our motivation is just their health and well-being. Um, and I think that's all the motivation we need. A few days before school started, Trisha Werner took these photos concerned about a variety of issues. The flashing that's ripped open, the standing water around the outside, um, the hanging light with exposed wire. Initially, the district told parents the buildings were healthy and safe. Then the state health department conducted an air quality test. They found carbon dioxide levels inside were too high for students, exceeding state health code recommendations. In a statement to parents, school officials said in part, we were disappointed to learn that our portable classroom CO2 limits exceeded the state's newly recommended levels. While the findings do not pose an imminent safety threat, it is not a standard we feel acceptable given our commitment to health and safety. Some parents are doubting that commitment. Their health and well-being very much could be at risk because no one, no one is responsible. No third party is responsible to look at those structures. As far as the structural cleanliness and integrity of the buildings and specifically their air conditioning units, Noblesville schools committed, even though it is not required by law, to hire an outside agency to conduct an inspection. They say it was completed August 9th and new air conditioners are on order. We have yet to see any results from that. And Lisa, Tricia and company promise they won't rest until they do. Chance Walser, RTV6.